Hey everyone, just a quick video. Um, I've been trying to add SI units to the 121GW multimeter app and I found a neat way to do it and I thought I'd show some people. So here it is. So the old way of displaying the number would just be doing a, a quick value two string. And if I run that, um, running, 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 loading, 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 it'll take a moment to get a sample. All right, need to have the sample. If you do that, then you get these kind of weird, pointless numbers. And um, while they are correct, that is six millivolts. You don't have any like milli sign or micro or whatever. So I created a class which I can wrap around any floating point or double number, um, which will allow me to just do this. I just put it as an SI value, and then I do a two string, and then that's it. And then. And as you can see, we've got the millivolts, and it's sitting around four to seven millivolts now. And the top, when I when I trigger the uh, multimeter, give it some noise, then it goes up to the the reading. So um, this will work for micro, pico, uh, mega, whatever. And all I had to do was create this class here. So we just have this lookup table here, which has the SI engineering notation units here: the pico, nano, micro, milli killer, mega, giga, and terra, and their, um, the power of 10 value, which is effectively multiplied by the value. And um, then we have the two string function. This is just a function that can be run at any time. Um, and it takes th the value that you want to convert to a string. And uh, if it's zero, it returns immediately, because why waste time detecting what unit it is if it's not zero? Um, and then it goes through the different units and determines which unit, which SI, uh, I don't know what to call them, bracket or something, it fits into. And then it then rounds the value to a certain number of significant figures, gets that as a string. If the result of that is zero, it just returns without the label. If it isn't zero, then it adds the, the, um, the suffix, uh, pico, nano, micro, milli, giga, or whatnot. Um, just a quick update on the function I showed before. I removed the way it behaved before because it allocated an SI value object on the heap, and that's a bit slower than just running a static function, so just a small change, um, nothing major, and that's basically all this does. Um, so with this one function here, it makes all the labels for all the graphs um, have the suffixes of engineering notation. 